Out here on the Kaikus copper property, we are doing some exploring on a recently built logging road. This is the M8 logging road. Finding some samples out here coming out of the bank. Some oxidation in areas. We're going to take a look and uh, see what we can find. There's a boulder that's jammed in there that's got pyrite all throughout it. So cemented in right there. We just pulled out this small boulder here. It's got some calcopyrite on it. So these rocks have been here for a long time. Right here is your bedrock layer. So it's just sitting right on top of your bedrock layer. You can see how cemented this is. The rocks are just cemented to it. But inside you have some very nice mineralization. There's a bit of magnetite in there, but primarily you have pyrite, some calcopyrite, and it looks like arsenopyrite. Some more samples with iron pyrite that came out of the bank here. These were all cemented in. Taking some samples off the wall down in here. As you can see, it is mineralized. Looks like a lot of these fractures have mineralization. This is the face of a fracture. We're on the upper road now, and we're at a very similar creek that we showed in the very first part of the video, but this is the upside of it, a couple hundred meters. You can see over there, there's bedrock, it's limestone, there's limestone boulders everywhere. We're finding scarn samples with mineralization, pyrite, calcopyrite, and look at this. Look at all the pieces of limestone here interwoven with the bedrock so what we're gonna do is we're gonna chip away some of this material and we're gonna sample this area and see if we can find anything in this little stretch of road here we have a chunk of limestone and you can see right here these patches it's all calcopyrite so it looks like you had mineralization in contact with this. Little bits of iron pyrite in there. Finding lots of samples in this small stretch of roadway here. So here we have a piece of rock. You can see there's limestone on the outskirts. Then you have scarn, which is mineralized. It's a stringer cutting through that. We have a fresh slice broken open right here. See the mineralization.
pulling out some samples from this bank that are more intact and have some mineralization on them. You can see the oxidation on the bank here. You can see chunks of rock come out, but it's very deteriorated, this outcrop. We have some samples here that are solid. Pretty crumbly though. So some of these have mineralization on them. We already found a few along this bank. We found some inside the creek. Over here, we've got a few. Lots of mineralization in these. This sample here, I pulled out of the center of the road. Similar bedrock as over there. But you got some scarn and very nice amount of mineralization. It's mostly pyrite. You know, a little bit of magnetite in there. And a very minor amount of Calcopyrite. These samples contain a little bit more calcopyrite and lots of pyrite. So I'm going to break a few of these open. We'll take a look. We just pulled these ones out from over there. Here's a few. They break apart very easily. Lots of weathering. the biggest sample we've found so far. This was from the creek down in here. So lots of samples. Nice little showing. Definitely needs to be exposed further. A few more Samples here. So that's the end of sampling here. Took a little walk downstream below the culvert and didn't see much. This is about the most rock that's exposed here. So we're going to head back and that'll be it. Thanks for watching guys. Take care.